all right now I have everything set up so yeah here is uh, the play and cue button I can't actually hear it but <laughs> okay here is the okay so now here let's start with the cue and play button so here is the cue and play and of course beat offset right here when you press shift then there's hot cues it has a short delay but that's kind of fine and then pressing shift and this same hot cues again it deletes the um, tracks the I mean the hot cues then here is the reverse button and then here is the tra uh, track search uh, by pressing this it changes the song but let's see how, how long it takes uh, not long actually Let's not play the track because I can get a copyright claimed. Let's change back to the need of space. Here is um, you can sk uh, skip through the song to another point somewhere, and why? And then you can use the um, jog wheel to go a bit faster. Okay, and then um, when you press shift and reverse, uh, it zooms zooms in or zooms out, as you can um, you can see right here. And now let's press it again. Sorry, my hand is. And as you can see, it changes the waveform size. Nah, yeah. And here is the loops in and out. Then you can press in or out to change the length of the loop. And the same is to out to. And then you can um, exit the loop. Um, you can exit the loop. Exit the loop by pressing this black button. Oh, it crashed once again. <laughs> it crashed once again. Okay, sorry about that. So, by pressing the black button, you can press the same button to go to activate the same loop at the same position of the track. And then you can press shift to make it uh, more uh, smaller or bigger. then rope or roll so this activates the rope or ro roll
So what this means is that you can activate a loop uh, and then when you exit the loop it continues the track uh, at the post uh, it continues the it continues playing the track while it's in loop mode yeah that's the best thing to explain it but anyways here is the auto loops aka emergency loops I like to call them as that Four bar, eight bar, and sixteen bar. And then, while pressing shift, you can shorten the loop, like for example, one. Yeah. Here is the filter. I don't I don't use it that much. I don't use it that much. Because my mixer has a loop and it's better than this. This doesn't have any resonance to make. Yeah, it doesn't have any resonance. But it's kind of cool thing to have. It's a cool bonus. Then here is the, uh, yeah, here is the uh, jog wheel. Kind of impressive. It doesn't have any delay. And here is the knob with uh, which you can you can make this heavier or lighter. This jog wheel. And then here is the time and stop time and stop knobs Oops, let's try again. And then the start. Oh, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> but anyways, here is the start. Here is the slip. And when you activate it, you can do anything, anything you want. And it continues the track and continues at the same position where it's... Yeah. So you can do everything what you want and it continues to track at the same position yeah you can you can stop the music and it continues at the same continues uh, at the same yeah yeah you know what I mean and yes then right here um yeah well there is the eject of course which ejects the track and here is the settings usb that's the only source of course there, there is a link so you can um you can say um so here is the link that means that you can share the 
content that are in the USB to your other uh, unit. Yeah. And here is the MIDI. I still don't know what it what what it means. But anyways, here is the vinyl button. So now it's on. So now it means that. So if you. Yeah, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, the speed speeds up and speeds down when spinning. And yeah, you know what it means. And then when pressing shift and this vinyl button and um, it turns on and off the quantize. And here is the key lock. I'll show you it now. Let's speed it up. So when I speed it up or speed it down, it uh, keeps the same key, it doesn't pitch it up. But when we turn it on, I mean off, now you can hear that it's changing the BPM. Or No, 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 <laughs> it changed the pitch. this track so I forgot what I need to do oh yeah shift and range And there, I suppose, comes the 50. And then the 100%. Wait, what the freak? Wait, that's the wrong track. <laughs> I don't know what happened. And like that. And here is the auto cue if you um here is the auto cue if when pressing shift. Then here is the BPM tap, like I said, if you want to change the BPM by tapping then you can do it with that. And here is the BPM lock which locks the BPM you can change it. Uh, when tapping or I don't know and yeah of course the pitch bend this is this pitch bend is the same thing as the um, tempo but you but it's just more accurate with with this pitch bend thing. And it uh, affects uh, when the key lock is on also. And then of course you can... But yeah, anyways, I think that's all All and Wait a minute, I just have 50% of battery and now it's zero. What the freak? <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, this is all, all I have to explain. Of course, here is the back button so you can go back with the folders and you know. Yeah. And yeah, 
uh, it automatically closes the, this browse window and brings you back to the waveform as you can see but anyways yeah of course here is the browse and select yeah there's nothing else to explain anyways thank you for watching I hope you learned something and I hope this video um, um, helps you on if you want to buy this or not I hope um, yeah yeah that's your own decision but I really hope that this helps on deciding whether or not to buy or to buy but yeah uh, you should check out Need of Space that is absolutely one of the greatest techno songs ever and yeah I really recommend this player to you if you are searching for a very cheap player this is the one to buy and yeah because this is this is really good uh, well this is cheap material but well it, it's not a bad thing when you slightly press it can make a weird sound like the other player does I don't know can you hear it but yeah these buttons are pretty loud so it might do loud noises but this is a very good unit a uh, heavy well it was light it's I don't know it's heavy yeah it's heavy but and small heavy but small but very good this is what the player looks like at the sides at the yeah I'm planning on getting a pioneer stickers to <laughs> flex to people that these are pioneers players but I don't know if I'm gonna do that because well here's the eject so now you can safely uh, take out the USB stick with, without the unit uh, disrupting it and yeah so yeah this is uh, all I have to say thanks for watching see you in the next video probably the next video is one of my releases or um, the mix DJ mix with this this but anyways thanks for watching see you in the next video this was Nicholas Pesala bye